Here's a really easy way to fillet or curve your objects in Tinkercad. In a previous video that I've done, I've shown how to create a curved edge on any block. Now, you can do this by adding to the shape or taking away. Now, there's actually already a block in here, this one here, called Metafillet, that you can use. It already has the option to use... It already has the option for you to use it as a fillet or as a chamfer. The way to do that is to go over to your search shapes and then just type in meta fillet. And you'll see that it'll come up here and I've already started on mine so that way it's in my favorites. Click and drag it in and there you go. Now from here you can change the height of it if you want it to be really tall. You change the radius so how big of a curve is it going to be. And then once you're happy with it, so I've got my block here I want to add it to. All I have to do is change it to a hole and then I can add it to my design. Now I could just drag it over and try and make sure that it's exactly in the right place. Or if you want to instead, if I have it here, I select both. Once I've selected both, I then can choose to align. It's this tool here. And you see I've got these dots. Now, if I want it to line up this way perfectly, I'll then use this one. And then, so it lines up at the top as well, this black dot back here. Once I'm happy with it, I then can group them together. And there you have it. A smooth filleted edge. And if I want to add more edges, I can then repeat the process. So duplicating it, I've duplicated it a few times, rotated it. And instead of using this here, where I can rotate it like this, and I could use that if I want to. Another way of rotating it is by going to this mirror up here. And then I can select what way around I want to mirror it. And then from there, I just move it over. I'm going to use my arrow keys, make it a little bit short. So then if I go to align it, I don't move the box in the middle. I'm going to raise this a little bit, just so we can see the full effect. Maybe I'll do it like that. Now I can click and drag and select all of it, group them together. And if you give it a second, sometimes it takes a while if there's a lot of things you've got to do. But you'll see, you see blurred out what's going to happen. It's going to all take away those edges. And there you have it. I now have the shape I was looking for. But you get the point, what you can do is you can change the shape and get rid of the edges in a much easier way. So instead of having to go through and use a cube and then change the cube shape by adding a semicircle to it or adding to it by adding semicircles to your object, you can just use this meta fillet tool here, which makes life a lot easier. A little trick for you as well. If you've got it up high and you need to get your objects to the ground, if you just select D on your keyboard, it'll go to the work plane. There you have it.